do if that were to happen in the first quarter. Well, definitely, and I think the other coach as well, the, the, the Belmont boys have really got to be aware that you just don't bomb and, and let the wind do the work for you. You've got to use the ball properly, otherwise the wind won't help you at all. So, uh, interesting, uh, Jesse Mawson, just keep an eye on him near the centre bounce. There's a bit of activity with the... Uh, the two players are uh, getting to know one another as the ball comes down to ground. First uh, touch for the big fella, East Geelong, first to the footy, and away they go through Robertson, kick uh, into the breeze. Uh, terrific interception there by, oh, now I've got to get my numbers right, isn't he? Uh, number 20 is now Hunt as the ball for Belmont Lions. Very quickly back towards the uh, half-forward line, but defence... In vogue for East Geelong. They've tried through a series of handballs to get the ball clear. They've done that. And the ball now back to the middle of the ground. East Geelong kicking it low into the breeze. Nice use of handball. Over the top to Coy. That's Brad. He now kicks it to the lead of centre wing. Vervas coming towards our broadcast position. Not a good bounce. Tries to uh, block his opponent. Oh, does well. Flicks it back between the legs. And tries to pick it up. There's a... Whistle on play. Good play by Williams. He, Dropping he, the ball. He didn't give that away, Williams. He just kept going and going. So uh, away he goes. Uh, Williams for Belmont Lions. Oh, great blocking there by Verbs. Great tower tackle. And he's won the ball back. So uh, great pressure from uh, Verbs for East Geelong. And two out of two for Greg Cullen. <laughs> Done well. The kick goes toward into the bruise towards and a half forward. Coming from Ooh. behind. Then a very ordinary tackle. Free kick to... Uh, that was uh, Carroll. Carroll for uh, Belmont Lions. Ball back towards centre half forward for Belmont. Stacks on the mill. Oh, Cullen. Grub his mate. <laughs> Up we go. Ball comes to ground once again. Belmont Lions go forward. No players uh, much inside the forward 50 arc as the. Uh, Ball picked up there for Belmont Williams. by Williams. He's done well early. There's a whistle on play. So oh, there's 50. There's 50. He staged it. He staged it, but there was contact. But and there'll be 50 to Belmont Lions. Well, it was Jesse Mawson who was involved in... Uh, the rest of, he I was could, wrestling Pickett early. But, I suppose uh, I could describe it as a bit of a tussle, and Pickett's got him in well and truly because he's uh, given Rhett Smith a uh, bit of a belt there after Smith had been given the free kick. The 50 metre penalty will now take the man on the mark to the head of the goal square. And Rhett Smith, he's been playing for a year or two. He's dobbed it over the goal umpire's head. That's the uh, first score of the game. <laughs> that's, that's not like you. <laughs> All right, back in the middle. Ball up in the air once again. The big fellas fly. East Geelong's uh, bonus that time. And uh, nice little handball. Came out to Bolton. He goes towards half forward. Belmont Lions defence doing well, playing from in front. Picked up by Chalice, nice handball out. Now can they uh, use it? They have. Great mark, might be lucky awesome. not to get, well, he was unfortunate not to get 50. I thought the bump was pretty solid after he took the mark. But uh, it's Jesse Mawson. It is Jesse Mawson who, uh, he's got a streak about him, hasn't he? He's been involved in... Uh, Whatever's been happening today, he's been in it. Yeah, he has, and he's got a chance now to, to get one against the wind, which is going to be tough all day. But this is a tough kick against this wind, I might add. Man in the mark's 40 metres from goal, and uh, you're right, Grubby, it would be a huge kick from there. His lining's up, up as if he can kick it. I would think if he gets to the 10 metre square, he'll do very well. Moves in. Kept it low. He's done very well indeed. Oh. They hit the post. That's a huge kick into the breeze. I think the, the, the bloke, look, there's a bloke down out there. I think Dave Mewitt, the trainer, should get out and have a look at him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so from the kick in, huge kick with the breeze. And uh, Murphy, in fact, went for the mark on centre wing. So he's a long way from the goal square. Now we've got uh, numbers. Oh, free kick, I would have thought, to Williams of uh, Belmont. Not so, said the umpire, as the uh, ball kicked towards. Half forward, four east. And they're doing well because the amount of time they can keep it in their forward line means that the uh, Belmont Lions can't score with this breeze. East, done well this time through. Cluster goes towards full forward. Man in front, Belmont Lions can't take the mark. Now the ball's at ground level. Nice little handball came out to Chalice on the left foot. Had a player loose. The kick wasn't as good as it could have been. And uh, there we've got... Uh, that's good play. East Geelong can't pick it up. They paddle at goal. And now we've got stacks on the mill. 35 metres in front of goal. Umpire blows the whistle. We'll have a ball up. Five and a half minutes gone. 
One behind East, one goal Belmont, and Grubby, I would have thought they'd used to win better than this Belmont, or they would need to. Yeah, well, they're going to need to, but they've still got plenty of time, but they're going to need to, yes. Ball comes back towards the centre wing, big pack of players. Ball comes to ground. A bit of weight being used in there with uh, Fernandes for East, was quite strong. There's a mark not taken there by uh, Perry for Belmont Lions. Gets a handball out, now the long kick towards the... Uh, well, in fact, it's to the social free kick east along Evans, chips it along the boundary line. That's uh, good control. And uh, this is uh, indicative of Bell Pastel Grubby, isn't it? Just uh, complete control of the footy if they can. But uh, this time going for Kloster. Does he take the mark? No, I think, I think they've given it to the boundary line. I, I had the binoculars on it. I'll go with the boundary umpire. Well done. Well done. Now it's uh, Belmont back towards the centre wing. Off the, the top of the pack, Pickett. One step, long kick towards half forward. The bounce is not good. Goes toward the boundary. And yes, a good point, Andrew. Is uh, the tap down one by East, but the, uh, the crumbs picked up for Belmont now. Back of the pack, uh, Williams. What's happened there? No, an umpire won't allow the advantage. It's Went to line up, and I just think he took his mind off what else was going on. The man on the mark's only 30 metres from goal directly in front. Don't go that far from the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine now. Moves in. Getting plenty of advice from East Geelong players. As he finally uh, puts... That's a beautiful... Oh, kick. umpire kick. hasn't moved. Right over the goal umpire's head. Second goal. Fisher re-Bolton. Fisher gets the tap down. Ryan Coy gets the hands to it, but it goes to Belmont. Goes down forward. Logan bumps East Geelong off the ball. Perry gets the ball now. He kicks it up high going into the pocket. I think Verve is leading in the race. He can't get it, but Logan picks up the ball. Freddie Logan will kick a goal. That was beautiful. Beautiful goal. He's uh, he's an Jason Doe and his favourite Freddie Logan from last year. <laughs> that's, that's Evans, I think, sitting back there. And that's... Um, He's in, yeah, no, that's Lance a good So in the middle, uh, both Ruckman uh, mistimed their leaps. The ball landed uh, absolutely between them. Now we've got Stacks on the mill still in the centre circle. Umpire puts a whistle on play. And uh, we will have... Uh, well, actually, we've got a third umpire. We, uh, Scotty McLeod could have given us the, uh, the name of that umpire, couldn't he? But... Uh, However, we're underway. There's, uh, well, Coy got rid of his opponent there. Very uh, early. Cowan, uh, very, very early. <laughs> but uh, the ball is won at half four. Great tackle. Ball spills loose. Player pushed in the back. Uh, Perry for Belmont Lions. Goodness, that was pretty uh, pretty ordinary. As Perry now, well, if he's any sort of kick with this breeze, Grubby, he's uh, 60 metres out. He'd have a chance. He's another big man, isn't he? Yeah, he'd ha he'd, I tell you what, he'd, he'd have to kick it. Well, 60, but you'd, you'd have to kick it low still before the wind will take it. It's a hard, tough kick. Well, oh, kick in the made man it even mark. tougher. That, that's the fatal mistake. You can't score from there. Handball, uh, the order of the day for East Geelong. It's come but, undone, however. Great tackling there for East Geelong. Umpire doesn't reward it. And uh, I think he'd be a bit disappointed there, Fernandez. It was a good tackle, a good tackle in the uh, player with the footy. Now it's uh, keepings off. Goes back towards... Uh, Chris Fox it is for East Geelong, just outside defensive 50. I'll go with the umpire there. I didn't see much prior opportunity. OK, fair comment. So uh, the ball now goes to the defensive side. Certainly East are defending uh, quite solidly to the southern side of Richmond Crescent. And uh, in, after 12 minutes, only three goals against, uh, against them with this bruise. I would think uh, Parrott would be reasonably happy, Andrew. I think he'd be reasonably happy. I, 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 although I still think that outer side of the ground from our broadcast position is probably the attacking side of the ground. OK. I think you've also got to be careful. A lot of these goals, when you're against the wind, come when you get a bit tired towards the end of the quarter. Yes, that's a good point too. Well, there's a great pick-up for East Geelong. Immediately tackled. Ball spills loose. Goes towards half-forward with a kick leading up. Uh, East had numbers there. They just can't control the footy as uh, it's... Well, should have taken possession there, the Belmont players. But now, handball comes across. It's a series of handballs for East as uh, Murphy, long, long way from goal, has taken the mark uh, outside 50. Gee, that's uh, a funny-looking kick. In fact, uh, Vervis. Vervis, probably it was meant for. He didn't know it was coming. And now it's uh, picked up by Mawson. And uh, that was Jake Mawson. Little kick towards full forward. Gee, it's pretty scrambly footy there in the full forward. Now uh, Belmont Lions more than happy to concede. They rush over behind. So it's two behinds to East Geelong. 
It's three goals, 18 to Belmont Lions. Common Nafine Hotel, first quarter scoreboard. The kick on a two in, the two, two in one contest, two on one contest. So I think Murphy should have went back and had a shot and soaked up 30 seconds with this win, against the win. So from the kick in, Belmont Lions get it to uh, middle of the ground. Cowlin takes the mark handball quickly and uh, the ball now. Here he is. Freddie. Uh, Freddie uh, is... Uh, oh, oh, that was oh, magnificent! Oh, <laughs> where did Logan come from? He's followed the two behinds and, uh, well, they wouldn't be wanting to give too big a start at East Geelong because uh, team gets uh, in front by a margin. They get their tails up. There's a whistle on play. The free kick is... That one going to uh, Fisher, the big fellow for Belmont Lions. From this, there's a long kick. Well inside forward 50. Where's Logan? They're all eyes on him. Back of the pack. Ball doesn't come there, however. Now uh, he does well as the uh, handball came to Ryan Coy. He went for the boundary. Huge tackle there from the uh, Belmont Lions. Logan picks it up. He's immediately... Divison tackle, but again, no prior. He got it right again, the boy. So... Uh, Ball now, thrown in, back of the pack, oh, thrown out. That was a good throw from here and blind side of the umpire. The ball uh, kicked in for uh, Belmont Lions, but they've come away with it, East Geelong. Gee, how far is this? Oh, oh. oh nearly a uh, free kick dropping the ball, though. No, Just didn't have control of him. Didn't. As the, uh, the ball now kicked low into the breeze, and there's Murphy once again. Kick from uh, Chalice. He's been very conspicuous. Murphy now. He's... Uh, what are they doing? Finally, now they've created oh, the loose man, but no. the handball for Murphy wasn't too good. He perhaps uh, better off kicking. Chalice looked a bit tired kicking that, but he's had a few possessions in this first quarter. But the uh, ball comes to Kloster. Handball over. Now we've got uh, East Geelong coming through as Robertson. Robertson, and uh, he's on at the pass. That looks like it's uh, Stewart, is it? Josh Bowman, I think. Bowman. Bowman's playing up forward, you're right. As uh, he kicks into the full forward, to the bounce of the ball eludes all players. Over the boundary line, 10 minutes in the quarter. East need a goal here. Well, I think this is their chance to get a goal and probably take away two of the ones that the Belmont got. Made a bad mistake here, East. Uh, Belmont, sorry. Lucas Murphy got the ball. Both players ran to him. Only one go. One takes the other one. Now, from the... Uh, just a, uh, a quick kick out of uh, defence, and now they've chipped it back in. Jesse Morrison, now, if his first kick was any indication he can make the distance he's from there he's the same level isn't he he's uh, straighter in front of goal rather than toward the boundary and his first kick was very very strong into this breeze so we'll see uh, what's happened here is the man on the mark 40 metres out Jesse Mawson he uh, chips it to the lead oh, that's a mark yes a uh, mark taken by oh now he's called play on why oh, I'll tell you why in a minute when I work it out. <laughs> <laughs> now, i tell you what he's done. He's paid the mark. Now, Kloster wasn't quite yeah, sure whether he was going to pay the mark. Very slow with the whistle. Yeah, so he went to go on. Then he blew the whistle and played the mark. But he'd already gone on, so he called play on because he'd gone over the mark. Line, that's right. So, uh, well, a 50-50, we'll call that one for the umpire. Confusing umpiring, to say the least. But uh, <coughs> the ball is still, <coughs> excuse me, still there. Has, uh, oh, it's on here. Yeah. Looks like Rankin's... Uh, Rankin and Ryan Coy are just having a little uh, little cuddle. So Rankin's prep said... Uh, and there's going to be a free kick given, but it'll go to Belmont. Luckily for them, I think it's against Coy. Probably the umpire missed the first one, I'd suggest. Yeah, which the retaliator always gets <laughs> caught, boys. You've been around long enough to know that. So particularly, numbers, particularly the captain of the side. Yes. The so numbers here with uh, East Geelong on centre wing, but uh, fierce tackling by Belmont Lions. Whistle blows. <clears throat> this time the, uh, the tackle is rewarded. Now... Uh, there's a bit of continuance at ground level. A couple of players... Here we go! Here. here we go! Logan picks up in the pocket. He's going to snap again. And, and he's no got it! He knows where to go. <laughs> that is Fred Logan's third, and he is absolutely turning it on here at Richmond Crescent. He has done almost an identical uh, attack on the ball as the forum. Because especially in the last quarter when everyone gets tired, you can do the old Teddy Witten, mate, and stack the back line. So a fairly ordinary throw up in the air by the umpire on that occasion. It's ground level. East Geelong oh. now under a bit of pressure. Their handballs are not hitting targets. And uh, now they come out towards Berbers. Gets a bit of assistance out there as uh, teammate in Popal. He gets a handball to Kloster. Kloster now. Kicks it low into the breeze. The lead is Murphy. Can't get anywhere near the footy. Badly judged. Now the defence of uh, Belmont Lions under pressure. That's not a great kick. Kloster oh. can't take a mark that he should have, perhaps. 
Rankin picks up the crumbs, goes long towards half forward. Good one-on-one -on -one contest back there. Running back is Evans for uh, East Geelong. Can't control the footy. Now he does get it. Handball comes out to Fox. Across the ground to the uh, defensive side go East Geelong. Robertson. Got a bit of space and time. Not a good kick, and I guess the Bruise has had a fair bit to do with some of this kicking. I've, I've got to be uh, a bit lenient towards them, but uh, Belmont Lions, they've done well. This time through, uh, I haven't got a 69 there. Somewhere I've... Shock and handball. Mare, 69 was it? Mare. He's okay, jumper. East Geelong has, uh, this time, Stewart. Over to Coy. Coy goes wide, a little bit too wide. Uh, boundary on Pye says, no, it's uh, fair. It's still in play. So he's now Pickett up high in the middle of the ground. Paid the mark or the free kick, one or the other. And Pickett for Belmont Lions. Middle of the ground. Long left foot kick. Goes towards half forward. Oh, Canavan. That's, goodness Dead. gracious, I would have thought uh, two hands in the middle of the back. Used to be a free kick. Point. Ball up. Ball in, I should say, in the forward pocket. Belmont Lions end. And they all going to fall on the ball. And we shall have a ball up. <coughs> up there, okay. Untangling, untangling the legs. Ball up. Perry hits that. He gets the tap down. Belmont get a kick in though. Smothered off the boot. That was smothered off the boot from the getting to the contest first. Don't yeah, they are. And sides always tend to do that when they got the win. Let's let's hope they can do that when they're against the wind. And you know they tend to do it when they got the win. Their confidence up. They got their tails up. So the ball came in. Throw in. It's gone to the middle of the centre half forward position. And there is stacks on. You can throw a blanket over about 15 or 20 players here. I know the wind helps you physically. That's the ball now at the centre-half forward for Belmont Lions. Kicking with the bruise. Oh, the ball came to ground from that contest. Umpire will come in, and if he can find the ball, he'll put it in the air once again. A lot of players. East Geelong defending very, very stoutly here. 23 and a half minutes gone in the quarter. Can't afford probably to let uh, another goal come in here because... Uh, it would be a very good quarter for Belmont Lions. Ball kicked uh, back to the middle of the ground. Murphy, long, long way from up forward. His handball leaves a bit to be desired, but uh, Verbers takes it, tackled. His handball is under pressure. Back to Murphy. Not 15. Doesn't know what to do with it. There's uh, East Geelong now. Come wide, looking for Verbers once again. Now he's clear. A little short chip, and that's a, a better pass as the ball comes to Kloster. All right in front of our broadcast position, true centre wing. Northern side, little chip past the lead. Uh, not a good kick whatsoever. It's uh, too easy for uh, the Belmont line. Scotty Pickett towards half forward. Easy mark in front to Atkinson. And uh, man on the marks at 50 with this breeze. If he can kick it all, he's uh, not without a chance. So Atkinson there comes in. Not a good kick by any stretch. Man in the uh, hole in front of the uh, contest. Taking the mark is uh, Evans, is it, for East as they clear the ball across the face of goal. And uh, mark taken. They're uh, now going, oh, that's a uh, dangerous kick to half forward. Numbers certainly with uh, the Belmont Lions. Mayor. As uh, Mayor has a bounce. Uh, that's that? very negative, I would have thought. He's gone to the defensive pocket. But they still have control. Now he comes back to the middle of the ground. In front is uh, Canavan. Can't take the mark. Puts a contest on. Great tackle. Ball spills clear. Now he's, where are they going to go? They've got no one to kick to. Handball across the face of goal. Now they come to the attacking side. And uh, Chalice, you've got a big task here. Can't take the mark. Having a shot for goal. If you're going to have a shot for goal, go back, take your time, line them up. Don't just go back and kick it like, like he did. Well, from the throw, and that was a magnificent what. steal by Rhett Smith. Back of the pack, the hand... The kick straight. So if, if East Geelong don't kick straight when they do have it, then they could find themselves in some bother. Well, the wind's certainly taking uh, a bit to do with the uh, ruck work there because the ball went up. Both ruckmen didn't get anywhere near the uh, the ball. Handball came times. there towards Pickett. He can't pick it I up. There's a whistle on Advantage! Advantage page. It's gone to Smith he again. He's done it! And he's done it! 55 metres. Uh, Rhett Smith. Rhett Smith. Blustery as it is, and this is the away side using the wind down here at Richmond Crescent to absolutely, absolute perfection. So he's still on. We've got Murphy in the uh, centre for this contest. They get the tap down. Murphy can't pick the footy up. There's Dallas. a player tackle high. Umpire. Good Johnny decision. Spot. Yes, he put his head down to try and pick the footy up. 
has uh, oh, he's uh, played uh, on. Silly boy. Stupid Jake Mawson, and uh, he's put his team under pressure now because Murphy's got to be two. He can't do that. Umpire whistle on play. And didn't drag players. it in. No, that's true. So uh, tap down by Bolton doesn't go anywhere. The uh, umpire might have to do it all again, and he will. That umpire puts up to the players everywhere. Comes down, Ber Bervis can't pick. He's held without the footy, surely. We kick off the ground for East Geelong. Gets the ball to uh, the half forward flank. There's the ball now. Half forward flank. Must be very, very late in this first quarter. There's the ball now. The big fella puts his body in front. Fisher, it's pretty hard to get around. Oh, he's he? a big he's lad. Done, he's done very well so far as uh, Jake Mawson tries to come clear of the pack with the footy. He's immediately tackled. Umpire puts the whistle to the mouth and uh, we'll have a ball up. Still half forward flank for East Geelong. Bit of a uh, stalemate for the last moment or two. That's the ball now. This is better. Mawson, well, he's tackled Back. from behind. Surely, said the, the umpire, doesn't agree. And uh, I'm with you, Grubby. I thought he dived right on top of him and uh, should have been a free kick. And uh, I saw Greg Cullen, the other umpire, out behind the back, put the whistle to the mouth, but he just was blocked. So, yeah, that, the umpire at this end probably made a bit of a blue there. Fisher again gets a tap down and uh, then tried to follow up and get the kick, and he's doing very, very well in the ruck. I'm not too sure whether it's his first game for the club's first time he's been named, but uh, he is certainly an asset to this side. So it's, uh, Jesse Mawson's uh, in there sort of having a few words again, so uh, keeps us interested. The, the handball came out to uh, Jake Mawson. He kicked the full forward, no good, as the ball now back middle of the ground. Murphy can't take the mark, and it looks like he's playing well away from full forward. Yeah, they've moved him into the middle. As, uh, and well, there's the siren. It is uh, quarter time in our GDFL match of the, the day. And Fisher Apple. and Bolton. Bolton will get the tap that time, go straight to ground. Bolton does his own roving. Great tackle by Jesse Mawson, broken by the Belmont player. Ball goes back to ground. Kloster gets the ball out the back to Robinson. Robinson to Ryan Coy. Ryan Coy to his brother Brad. Brad Coy from the centre position goes a mongrel kick up towards the middle. And Perry has gone back to centre half back. He takes the ball. Can't mark it though. Comes off hands. And that will probably be a ball up at centre half forward. Umpires have blown the whistle. Now he has. There you go. Jumped into. Uh Mawson there, so uh, the Mawsons are not the most popular boys, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Uh, no, no, but nothing dirty. They're playing it tough and hard, which you want to see them do. So the ball now, yep. the kick out of the pack goes to uh, full four. Yep, it's going to bounce. Oh! oh hit the post. Uh, about to come in. Yep. As, uh, Just that one, that terrible was football. Kick. Who was that from uh, Mayor at full back? And, yep. uh, and basically he's gifted. Oh, he's missed it. Goals uh, behind, that hit. was... Uh, it's one of the windiest places in the world. I told you this morning, it was beautiful out there. The oh. wind to be probably across the ground. It runs north-south. Across so to the pocket, <coughs> but favouring the train line in. From the kick in there, in uh, Inverley. <laughs> Belmont Lions have got the ball back to uh, centre wing. It's at ground level. They're trying very hard. The Ooh. running player stripped of the footy. Picked up for East Geelong. Now there's uh, strong tackling as the ball goes toward the boundary. In front of the change rooms here at the Richmond Crescent. Half forward flank. Well, between half forward and centre wing for East Geelong. One goal, four. They trail Belmont seven goals straight. There's a whistle on play. What's well, happened It looks here? like another blood rule, is it? <laughs> Football and netball. Well, I don't know what's transpired there, but the ball uh, thrown in. And at back of the pack, it's uh, Mawson. Picked it up. He's immediately tackled. Tackled high, said the umpire. And uh, back he goes. As uh, now chips it in... The uh, oh, Murphy had six players to beat in that marking contest. Surely there's some East Geelong players at ground level. So right. that's a legal tackle, surely. Over the head, but uh, not so, said the umpire, as uh, Belmont Lions now. They try to work it around the boundary. Can't do so. Lachlan can't pick the footy up, and uh, the drift just over in this second quarter with the aid of quite a strong breeze. The ball comes in now. A lot of players go for the tap down. East Geelong uh, finally get it to uh, Ryan Coy. Off a step, goes to full forward. Player up and down before acceptance is front of the pack. Jake Mawson can't get the footy, however. F strong tackling. Bound gets a handball away. The kick goes for Belmont Lions towards the 50. Mark taken by Kloster. And the man on the mark is on the 50-metre arc. He's a chance here, Kloster. Kloster's a very good kick normally. What can he do here? 
Oh, no, so the wind's going to get it. A terrible kick. In fact, might have just snuck in for a... Go back. Daniel Mayer from full back. A tumbling punt oh. comes out. It was a shocking kick from a full back. Out into the play. Coy nearly took the ball. It goes to hands. I think Perry had the ball then. Comes to East Geelong. To Murphy. Murphy from centre-half forward. True. We'll lob that through. And that will be a goal. That was very opportune play. Ryan Coy did. So they probably can afford to squander a couple. After the uh, Bolton tap down. Very good in the centre. Uh, Belmont lines at ground level. Take it away. Pick it. Round the body. But uh, not uh, able to connect the footy at centre wing as uh, East Geelong go forward but the ball beats them all over. nine minutes gone in the quarter there's still plenty of time for East to uh, peg back this lead as the uh, big fellow Fisher gets the tap down but they can't do much more than that it comes to uh, Coy oh a lucky kick it's found uh, brother to brother the handball comes to uh, Chalice Chalice inside 50 Murphy oh second grab he just couldn't hang on to the footy so it's touched through for another behind. Into the, uh, into the back line. So Mayor from the Belmont Lions with the ball again. He's going to head back out to the social room side. Oh. All the way into the social rooms, in fact, <laughs> and that will be a free kick. Negro's going to have to do something here. He's had three kicks from out there. One got smothered, one went out in the full, and one went straight down and Neeks Geelong forward's throat. So Popel kicks the ball in looking for Murphy. Oh. Pack flies. Big pack comes to ground, though. Can't get it out. That looks like Evans with the ball. Evans tries to break a tackle in the forward pocket and the ball will go out. So throw in. Fisher and Perry together. Both the Belmont Lions big fellas. One taps to the other. Belmont Lions clear the ball. Comes up to the half forward flank. Cluster underneath it. One hand. Big pack Forbes. Belmont are really trying to smother the ball and, and keep it to ground. Ball picked up by Mawson. Goes to Ververs. Ververs back to Kloster. Kloster gets a chip off, kick, chip kick into the hot zone. Picked up by, was it Evans again, I think. A snap kick from Chalice, was it? Yep, it's it there. Chalice, and that is a goal. Great raving by Andrew Chalice. That's what he's known for. Quarter. Mind you, I think I'd have the courage too if I had that pace. <laughs> so the ball comes to ground. Neither Ruckman uh, really get a touch. Uh, coming through was Rankin. He kicks the ball out wide, but East Geelong this time through Popel again on that wing, starting to come into play. Coy, tackle without the footy, follows up round the body, kicks it to the uh, the dead pocket, attacking the footy was Murphy. Coming through his cluster behind him. He's got three to boot. Puts it on the boot. I was going to say it would have been a miraculous goal. And uh, it'll be uh, Mayer again. I wonder if he can do any better yeah. outside the goal square. Grubby, well, you've been um, calling for a change here. Well, they've got no choice here with the out in the full because it's the closest one there. So let's hope he kicks it a bit better. So that's uh, a better looking kick. It's very close to the boundary line. Huge pack of players out there. Off hands. Touched uh, off the boot as well. There must be, uh, if there's 36 on the ground, 34 of them are currently inside the uh, danger rooms. Low throw in by the boundary umpire. East win the footy. Mawson, he's tackled immediately. The ball gets anywhere near him. As, uh, gee, it's a real rugby scrum at the moment. You can't describe it as anything else than that. The umpire allowing them to try and get the footy out. It's playing into the hands, certainly, of Belmont Lions at the present moment because they're nullifying the game in front of the change rooms here at Richmond Crescent. They've been there for about two minutes. And there's uh, there's a Rank free kick Rankin there. and Mawson there. <coughs> that he's dropped you and a 50. Well, how undisciplined is that? And Paul Negro's got to get that boy off the ground and give him a real tongue lesson. The that free was... kick was undisciplined. The 50 was ridiculous. Yeah, well, they just uh, players are getting sucked in here. Rankin and uh, Mawson have been at it all day. And, uh, well, that's the good move. The runner is immediately removing... Uh, Rankin from the ground, and uh, that's good coaching. and That's what you like to see. Yep. The player with the footy uh, is uh, Savage, was it? That yep. Kicked the goal. So Savage got the free kick and uh, the for it immediately, and uh, that, that was done. So that's a uh, good work. Ball in the middle once again as uh, the big fellow that time in Ward gets the ball away for uh, Belmont Lions. But at ground level, he's doing much better now. The uh, chip pass, I don't know where that was going because Mayer, well, he's not kicking in. He's now nearly on the wing. The uh, picks the footy. Oh, that's, now, that uh, can go deliberate, you know. Oh, intended to do, yes. and that's what the rule's there for. So, Robertson there. Oh, dangerous work. kick. I, I guess uh, he brought it into the middle perhaps a little bit too soon, but they've got away with it, East, because Lachlan has uh, accepted the handball, goes long to full forward. Murphy taken under the footy as uh, the contest is in the... Half four. Very easily could have gone straight down the ground with about a centimetre more, I reckon. Yes. And you don't want to give a goal up here at the moment. 
So there's the ball uh, dropped by the Belmont player as he's tackled toward the boundary that the umpire deemed it was in order. So the boundary umpire will now come into play. 16 minutes, second quarter, 4-6 east, trail Belmont seven straight as they uh, win the contest, Belmont, to get it towards the boundary. Play out there in Savage, gets a handball clear. East back to Chalice. Now back to the head of the goal square. Big pack of players back there. Mark not paid. Handball goes back towards the goals for uh, Belmont. There towards centre wing. The two number 17s. Oh, it could be 59. The centre line, there's nobody forward of centre to, uh, to do anything there. So we've got a big pack of players. Now there's uh, oh, Holt. Well, the two, it was actually off the ball, Grubby. The okay. two of them basically wrestling. And I, I thought they were 50-50. But uh, the free kick's gone to Ward for Belmont. Goes to the middle of the ground. That's dangerous for them too, I would have thought. But uh, off hands. Let's come to Carroll. Carroll now to uh, Fred. He, he stay uh, down, son. He can't take that mark as the ball now at ground level. Umpire almost in the way. Picked up uh, for East Geelong by Robertson. You get the free. And he gets a free kick. Oh, you've uh, got to pay advantage. You've got to pay advantage. You've just cost them 50 metres. <laughs> and and closes the game up again. Down after he uh, delivered the ball. Where's he gone with it? Right across the ground to the defensive side. Has uh, caught. Oh, beautiful and, shepherd. Uh, so uh, Fred has just uh, suddenly found out what football's all about oh. because he was... Shepard it off the, uh, off the ball there pretty well. East Geelong now, low skimming pass. Kloster can't take the mark. Butters up well low, tackle high. So Kloster now, outside 50 now. Go now back and have a shot, son. They probably Go and have to, a shot. Uh, get the ball going quickly because the, now they've enabled... He's got to have the shot now because everyone's got back as he comes in. Now, that's a better looking kick than the last time. It's going to be in the goal square, off hands. It is over. Because they seem to be kicking it better from this side of the ground. Either that or they've, uh, they've made an arrangement to play all the game in front of the sponsors. <laughs> Man. So, ball comes in from Mayor. Good kick into the wind. Goes out past the 50 metre mark. Pack on and the ball will be put out. No doubt about it. Ball comes in. Fisher gets the tap down. Goes off hands. I think Mawson leading for the race for the ball. He picks it up. And is heavily tackled. Umpire says, you've taken him too high, son. At free to Belmont. Goes out by uh, Carroll, I think it might have been. Out to the wing. Off hands. And that was... A bit to say, do you? Oh, there's a bit of going on there. He threw a punch, that boy. And Greg Cullen has spotted it. And no card. He said, settle down, boys, or you'll both go off. So, ball comes back into play for Belmont up to the wing in front of the East Geelong bench. And that, there's a great mark. Is that Evans, I think, Cormac Evans? Which, that's a good old-fashioned Scottish name. <laughs> Evans now with the ball. Centre wing, outer side of the ground. Long roosting kick. Over the top comes Belmont, and that will probably go out of play. Yes, it will. The ball, they're not going to kick a goal, are they? No, well, I think that's that the plan is that we're not going to worry about scoring. In uh, two quarters of footy, the way that looks at the moment. It's a whistle and play for the ruck contest. It'll go to, it'll go to east. No, I don't know which umpire gave it because one, they're both pointing and, uh, oh, what a terrible decision by, by the big fella. But uh, handballs come to uh, Kloster. Oh, oh what a beauty! Third, fourth man in the queue, Lucas Murphy, flew into the back from uh, point blank range. So... Uh, there we've uh, so and he can't kick it now until uh until lucas murphy goes uh, off the ground uh, it, it, it's a little scratch on the knee but look at things he's had the blood so but fernandez at least it keeps uh, him sober the nearest uh, person to the uh, activity and uh, i think uh, he has uh, he has honored that mark from each game the umpires, would you agree, Grubby, haven't been consistent with one another? With one another. They've been yeah. consistent in yeah. their own realms, but they've got to work together a little bit more. Some of them have got different interpretations of each other. So uh, from the uh, ball up in the middle, a long kick for East Geelong. Sees the ball at uh, full forward. There's a nice handball at the top. Murphy back on the ground. He's had a pot shot from uh, 40 metres out. I think he's missed everything. No, he's been given a behind. Well, from where I was sitting, it was nowhere near a bond. Geez, I've been sticking up for the field umpires and the boundary umpires, but I'm not sure about this bloke. He might need to see an eye dog. I think if that was a point, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor for Belmont Lions goes back out to the social rooms and Perry takes a strong mark at 40 metres out from goal for East Geelong. So Perry for the Belmont Lions. 
Jesus. looking upfield. A terrible kick. Scrubber, mongrel, finger breaker, as they say. And that will be taken oh. out of bounds. I reckon that was almost as deliberate yeah, as the he one He carried before. it out, but the Greg the Callum, big fella. Greg Callum, a little bit more conservative over there. So Big Fisher didn't want to bend over and do too much with that. So he's got the, the tap in now, but Bolton will get the tap in. Comes off hands. Goes to Robertson. Robertson gets the ball clear. Comes off hands again. It uh, didn't pick up the number no, there. Oh. head. Good decision. It's a scrum that Belmont have just... Pl the players are just pouring in from Belmont and just closing that ball down again. Robertson. Oh, oh over mark. the back. Was that Kloster? No, that was Lachlan, I think. Lachlan has the ball. No, actually. Might have been Bolton, actually. It was Bolton. Benjamin yeah. Bolton, yeah. Mawson. Mawson picks the ball up at centre-half forward. And it is really just a scrum. Belmont have locked it down. There's two, pl oh, he's, two he's players. He's pending for holding the ball. The bloke was holding him around both ankles. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're still holding the ball, Eric, if you go <laughs> technically on the rule. Ben Miller for Belmont Lions. He will can send the ball out towards the wing, or the half-forward flank, in fact, but the oh. wing gets hold of the ball. Yeah. Boys fly high for the mark. East Geelong come away. Bolton again doing some strong work in there. Comes off hands, and again the pack forms. Blow the whistle, Greg, and ball it up. Take a lesson here, because they backed themselves in the first quarter and probably lost. So ball comes clear now. Back towards Robertson, but the ball comes. I think it might have been Rankin got the ball, or it's heading to Rankin now. Sorry, I called that wrong. He Neville must be had quick. The ball. <laughs> Nipple had the ball. He's given it off to Rankin. Half forward flank for Belmont Lions. Oh, oh he had plenty of pride. Got rid Fervis. of it. Furvis to Neville. Neville breaks away. Could this be the first score at that end of the ground? There's nobody home. Oh, great mark, mark. Belmont boy. That would have been Johnson, I think. Johnson took the mark. He's probably about 35. Ben Johnson. 30 metres out. Justin be a Rankin. Good kick. Goal. Goal to Johnson. So that is the first goal at the Cadinia Park into the ground. And a of them there. The forward plays in front. He's got a fair chance and that happened. Well, I think East Geelong probably should put another two back and make it four <laughs> on two and maybe unclog it up here a bit. In the middle, Bolton gets the tap for East Geelong. There's a secondary tap and that's a great tap. It's only as far as Mayer, who's intercepted half back. He's gone straight for the boundary on the southern side. Won't get uh, out on the full. In fact, it doesn't get out of bounds as the uh, ball intercepted. And there's a strong mark. Now get it down. It's while it's open. Robertson. You're right, Grubby. Now, uh, why would you go in there oh. so soon? He does. But uh, Fox at centre-half back now has taken the mark. And he's gone straight back to the uh, defensive side. Mark taken. Now he's trying to get it running. Chalice. Except a handball. He'll need to go uh, pick wow. it up because he got run down by Logan <laughs> on that occasion too comfortably. Now he gets it back again, Chalice. Now the long kick. That's where they need to be doing East Geelong. One in the, in between two. Man in the middle is uh, Murphy. The man at the back takes the mark in uh, Perry. Fisher. Perry, sorry. As the ball, he kicks it towards the boundary. And the defence, they need to get in the middle of the ground, though, surely. Yeah, they worked it very well that time. So from the throw in, back of the pack, East have it now. Kloster, handball over the top. Players run uh, a mile. Uh, Verb is it? No, it, in Robinson. fact, it was uh, Ross to go wide. Has uh, Smith out there on his own? And this is poor marking for East Geelong. As Smith now soaks up the time. 28 and a half minutes gone for the quarter. Long kick along the uh, the the uh, yeah, flank. Yeah, it's a mark. There's a good mark for East Geelong. That time by Mawson chips it to middle of the ground. Kloster stretches high, takes the mark. But uh, goes defensive. I can't... Uh, well, he has got a player out there. I didn't see uh, him at Stewart. They need another one, East. They need it now before the siren. Yes, yeah, Stewart now. Skims oh, no. along looking for uh, the, uh, his teammate at centre forward. Now the uh, numbers come for Belmont Lions. It's uh, tackled at uh, the centre of the ground. Now kick off the ground for Belmont is a uh, huge benefit. Ball the forward of the centre. I don't know where the East Geelong players are. or in backwards of the footy. Doesn't do the mud. They you have got the footy now. Verbers is one out against two, and in fact the ball. And watch this, Freddie Logan, because he just ran him down like he wasn't there. Yes, he uh, he's very very quick from the uh, ball in. Fisher gets the ball forward for uh, Belmont Lions. Players getting mauled in the packs there, but uh, no free kick. Chalice accepts a handball. Now he goes to the head of the goal square. That's where it needs to be. Oh, huge fly for uh, East Geelong as the ball comes out to Cluster. He's tackled, gets a handball. Gee, there's a lot of uh, high tackling Might have given him a high one that time, I should state. Yeah, that's right. Um, 
Now, hang on. Hang on. The umpire, the trailing umpire has just given 50 metres. I reckon somebody said something to him. It wasn't the umpire who gave the free kick. It was it, the, the guy, the umpire who's given the 50 was standing beside Kloster. You're Something's right. Something's been said. You're right. Greg Cullen's paid the free kick. Dale Dawling's come from 50 metres back to give a 50. So it it's, could be nothing else except language. So Kloster now has kicked uh, his first for the day and a very important... They've both failed a little in the middle this time. The big fellow in Fisher gets a tap down, but the ball goes towards the uh, east goal as a uh, handball came out from Cameron. Out wide. Oh, oh. That's a great grab that time by Robertson. Goes goalwards. He deserves a goal. Lucas Murphy, a uh, shepherds, but it's not online. Gee, if he didn't mark that, the belt goal straight 48 Belmont. Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Second quarter scoreboard, 32 minutes gone. So Rankin has the ball in deep in the defensive back pocket for Belmont Lions. He's going to give the sponsors another look at the ball. I would suggest he's going to hug that boundary line with only seconds, you would think, to go. High ball. Comes right up in front of the social rooms and a good mark there to Out in the full, Perry. I think you'll no, find. Out in the full. Perry took a good mark, but outside the boundary line. Should come prepared with your binoculars, Andy. Well, I should come. <laughs> oh, I, I just haven't got the money, that the payment that you've got. Uh, grubby Murphy can't get the ball kick comes back into the forward Murphy can't take the mark it goes to ground Perry will clear the ball it will go out wide that is Mawson picks up the ball he's tackled to the ground one-handed he disposed of it interestingly ball comes in Murphy again can't tackle off hands to I think Jess uh, Jesse Mawson of the two Mawsons and that is a goal to East... And unfortunately, he's probably, while he's doing it, he's feeding Cogsy some cans, I reckon. He, <laughs> he would go along with it. That'd be a happy, uh, a happy timekeeper's ball. So in the middle, the uh, ball cleared out a long kick from uh, Robertson. Goes quickly to uh, full forward. Coming through is Cameron on the left foot. Hooks it around the body. Doesn't get to, to the target. East at ground level have done pretty well, but they can't pick the footy up. And uh, it's cleared away for... Uh, the Belmont side, all Verb has dropped the footy, surely. Not so, oh, there's a nice oh, check side kick the from the uh, 54 minutes and a quarter. Free kick was paid. He's going to have a shot. He's going to have a shot from 70 for 80. Yeah, Tim Savage, I would have thought, uh, slightly out of his range, but we'll uh, wait the uh, kick. He's uh, not real good as the uh, siren has sounded. So at half time, East Geelong, seven goals, nine, 51, lead the uh, Belmont Lions, eight goals straight, 48 goal kickers for the half, all single goal kickers for East.